Welcome to the Grand Court at Macy's Center City, Philadelphia. I'm Peter Richard Conte, Wanamaker Grand Court Organist. Thanks for joining me for this broadcast. I started the concert with a piece by André Campra, who was organist at Toulouse and later at Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, Campra introduced violins into sacred music in sacred spaces back when violins were considered street instruments. I find that quite fascinating. The Rigodon I played for you is actually not an organ piece at all. It was from one of his operas, Idomine, I believe it's pronounced, and it's been arranged for organ and it's quite popular, especially at weddings. I'm going to play for you next a piece by Felix Mendelssohn. This is one of his, I think, some five dozen songs that he wrote entitled Songs Without Words. Uh, this one does have a title, however. It's called Spring Song, and uh, it's usually used in a musical joke reference, but it's actually quite a charming piece. You'll hear the choir harp in the left hand accompanying the celli and uh, four-foot flute in the beautiful melody by Felix Mendelssohn. That was Felix Mendelssohn's Spring Song. Next on this program is a piece by Norman Cocker, an English composer. Cocker had a long association with Manchester Cathedral, some 30 years as organist. Uh, one account of his playing of the organ uh, says that uh, he was famous for uh, not using his hands with uh, pistons, preset registrations, but rather drawing stops by hand. If his hands were busy, he would knock a stop off with his elbow. If his elbows were busy, he would even bang a stop off with his head. I'm not going to try that this, for this program, but uh, it's a wonderful piece. I'm going to play for it called Tuba Tune by Norman Cocker.
that was Norman Cocker's brilliant tuba tune. You heard the centennial tuba on the seventh floor uh, during most of that uh, wonderful piece of music. I just really enjoyed playing that one. Um, next up is a piece by Gabriel Fauré. Fauré, uh, his favorite instrument was the piano, but he spent much of his life uh, in church music. In fact, he was Vidor's assistant at Saint-Sulpice, and they would do dueling organists back and forth from the front and back organs of the church at the end of services trying to outdo each other with their harmonies, which I had been in the nave during that. It had been lots of fun to hear. Um, he was not so much known for his, his opera and uh, theater music, but he took up in the 1890s, I believe, writing incidental music for plays. And this piece, Nocturne from Shylock, is perhaps the best known uh, from that output. This is a foray's Nocturne from Shylock.
That was Gabriel Faure's Nocturne from his incidental music to Shylock. Uh, if you were watching my hands, you may have seen me using these brass slides underneath the keyboards to control both uh, expression and tremolos during that piece. They're wonderful innovations um, that uh, organs really should all have, in my opinion. They're just amazing when your feet are both busy playing pedals, you can still affect a crescendo by just running your thumb against this uh, brass thumb slide and creating a crescendo. Wonderful, wonderful features. Uh, next up is a delightful piece called Penguin's Playtime. Nigel Ogden is a, uh, an, uh, an English organist who is both at home uh, in theater and uh, church organs. For about 40 years, I believe, he was on a radio program called The Organist Entertains on BBC Two. Uh, 1980 to 2018, I believe, were the dates. A long-standing relationship uh, with the BBC uh, entertaining organist on the radio. And this is a piece called Penguin's Playtime. Those of you who know me know me. I know that I collect penguins, not live ones, but all manner of other penguins. And so I'm particularly fond of this little gem. Nigel Ogden's Penguin's Playtime. That was Nigel Ogden's delightful Penguin's Playtime. Next is one of Robert Schumann's uh, most famous works. This was, is a piece written for piano originally, one of 13 pieces uh, from Scenes from Childhood, written in 1838. You will hear uh, a very haunting English horn uh, from the orchestral division in dialogue with some of the orchestral flutes and the Vox Humana Chorus. Uh, back and forth, uh, spinning this amazing tune by Robert Schumann. Uh, the Traumerei, or uh, Dreaming, as it's called, in from his Scenes from Childhood.
That was Robert Schumann's Dreaming from Scenes from Childhood. I'm going to conclude this program with a piece by Charles Hubert Hastings Perry, an English composer, teacher, and historian. Perry was for many years the head of the Royal College of Music. Uh, among his pupils at the time, or his students, were John Ireland, Ray Fon Williams, uh, Frank Bridge, to name just a few. Perry is best known, of course, for his hymn tune, Jerusalem, and also for his wonderful anthem, I Was Glad. But he did delve into the realm of incidental music, much like Gabriel Faure did. Uh, and this piece is from a Cambridge Greek play that Perry wrote some music for, called The Birds of Aristophanes. And this is the bridal march from that suite, arranged here for organ by Walter Alcock.
You've heard the Bridal March from the Birds of Aristophanes by Charles Hubert Hastings Parry to conclude this program from the Wanamaker Grand Court at Macy's. I'm Peter Richard Conte, Wanamaker Grand Court organist. Thanks for joining me for this broadcast, and we'll see you next time.